Corruption. I think we're, we're all paying corruption tax as individuals. I think businesses look at Florida, they see the level of corruption here, and they read about corruption in Forbes magazine. Florida corruption in Forbes magazine. Why would they bring jobs here? Why would they open a business here? Why are there only 16 Fortune 500 companies in Florida when we're about to be the third largest state and the 20th largest global economy? You know what our competitors have? New York, California, and Texas all have 20 Fortune 5, uh, 50 Fortune 500 companies or more each. Corruption in Florida is killing jobs. If they want to use the phrase, somebody wants to use the phrase job killer, corruption is the job killer. That's probably the only time I want to use that word. You know, I, I don't care for the phrase job killer, but corruption certainly is a job killer. Uh, so we need to do something about it. And, and Tallahassee hasn't taken much action uh, for ethics reform, a comprehensive effort for ethics reform, uh, since the days of Governor Ruben Askew. Uh, since you know, late 60s, early 70s in Florida. It's been too long since we've had a serious discussion about our corruption problem and a serious discussion about the solutions needed to fix it. So. The Florida Commission on Ethics is going to meet on June 15th, and they're going to set the agenda for ethics reform for 2013 at that meeting. That's why our report's coming out on June 6th, because uh, it's important that we, we inform the, this Florida Commission on Ethics about what some of the, the best ideas, best practices from around the country look like, and let's hope they set an agenda for meaningful ethics reform for next legislative session. So the discussion's beginning now. Uh, as you all are talking to candidates running for office, it's important to ask them, where do they stand on ethics reform? What do they think about Florida being known as the number one state for corruption? Uh, do, are they going to stand for that? What are they going to do about it? Let's make this part of the discussion in this, this election cycle. We, we all can have a role in the effort uh, for ethics reform.